finally, it's time to have a look at playing some actual notes on the guitar. Now, we can use our fingers, but ideally we should use a plectrum if you want to be able to advance into more difficult techniques. Getting into the habit of using just our fingers on the strings will make it harder to relearn using a plectrum later on, so the earlier you start, the better. If you do a thumbs up, relax the hand like you're holding a really chunky mark pen, put the plectrum on the side of the finger and then bring the thumb down and leaving just a few millimeters sticking out. That's gonna give you a really good basis. Now don't keep the fist closed up, we wanna relax it because otherwise you'll tense up when you're playing. So a nice relaxed grip. Okay, now we've got the idea of a plectrum. Again, you can use your fingers if you don't have a plectrum available at the moment. Let's get into actually playing some notes. So for this at the beginning, we haven't gone through what we're doing with setting up an amp or how we're connecting the guitar properly. So right now we're just gonna use the guitar completely unplugged and just get used to playing some notes without any annoying volumes to upset the family or the neighbors. So we're gonna come up to that string five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna pick that string twice. Now we could go down twice with the plectrum or we can go down and then up getting used to playing what's called alternate picking. So that's our first note. Notice I kept this hand out the way. Then I brought my hand down to rest on the strings to stop any of the strings ringing out. Now we're gonna have a go at our first fretted note. Now there's a few things to go over here to help you get this note clear. So we're gonna take our first finger, we're gonna squeeze it into the first fret of the sixth string. So that's all the way up the top, sixth string, first fret. Here's a few tips on things to help you get that note clear. So if I start with a finger right here at the head end, I'm gonna get a horrible fuzzy sound. So I wanna come up to the closest towards the body, so bringing my hand into myself, the closest I can, but so I can still see the fret wire. Instead of hugging with my palm, having my thumb over here or anything like this, I want my thumb to be thumbprint on the back of the neck. So, my hand feels like I'm doing some weird angle like this, and it will feel uncomfortable to start with, but it is the best method for playing. Now, between our thumbprint and our fingertip, we're gonna squeeze that string. Yep, I'm on the tip more than the print with the finger, but I'm on the print with the thumb, so I don't have to bend a thumb knuckle. So my thumb is like a thumbs up on the back, and then my fingertip comes round, and that's what gives me this bent wrist. Close towards the body, and that will give me the clearest note. Now you're still gonna hear a bit of buzz right now when it's unconnected, because it's gonna buzz off a bit of the bridge and things like that to some level, especially if you pick hard. Now if I pick gentle, it's very clean, but I don't know how well you're gonna hear that when the guitar's not plugged in. Let's go through those first two notes again. The fifth string, so the second one down, open, so no hand touching the strings. Now, you don't need to open your hand out of the way like this. I'm just doing that for representation. You just need to make sure you're not touching that string. So you can actually have your hand here, but you won't be able to see that I'm not touching. <laughs> so I move my hand out of the way. Fifth string twice. Then getting onto the fingertip, the thumb doing the thumbs up, in the first fret of the sixth string, just behind the fret wire, Nice strong pinch, like I'm angry at the string with a bent wrist. And that gives me my next fretted note. Now that is the hardest fret, the hardest note on any guitar to play. So if you're struggling with that one, we'll try the next note anyway. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad at this one. We'll move on to the next one and see if you can get this one. So now what we're gonna do is the same string, our sixth string, same finger, same technique, but we're gonna bring the thumb and finger up to the third fret. So this one for most people is one marked with a dot. Now remember, I said the thumb should be behind the note like it's a thumbs up. So I'm not leaving it back here. I'm not gonna turn into hugging. I'm gonna go from that first fret up to the third with the whole hand moving up. Okay, so this should give me a nice strong note here on the third fret. So we've got the open fifth string twice. First fret on the sixth string twice. Third fret on the sixth string twice. And then we'll go back to the open fifth string twice again. So we've got a few more things to cover, but by the end of this course, what you've just played there will be turned into a one minute song. So remember, you can use your finger and thumb to pick the notes instead of a plectrum, but it may get you into bad habits that will make it harder to do things later on. So as soon as you can get hold of a plectrum, I would practice using one.